Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me as I try to show off the best of modern retro gaming. We are continuing our journey through Koromon Insane Difficulty. Koromon is a fun monster training game that is coming out soon. This is the demo which is available now on Steam. The link is in the description. Go check it out. It is a great game. It's lots of fun. And there has been a change. They have up, they've been doing some updates on the demo and they have added a new item. So now I have a Lux Lore item. And instead of catching the Cormon in the grass, you have to use the Lux Lore area in an area you have not caught before and you'll be able to lure a Cormon to you. Now, if a Cormon in the grass is a perfect, you are still able to uh, still able to catch him. So we're going to start out with the Lux Lore item here. We are in a new uh, area, the woodland area. So let's uh, see what that will give us and how exactly that works out. So let's go ahead and use it. We're going to play a little ditty here and go right into battle and i have to catch one of the swarmies okay i can handle that as long as i don't knock him out um let's see i don't know what the best way to do this is because we don't want to i don't know if you could catch a cormon with another cormon there so that's kind of interesting um so let's i got stung by venomous bees i don't know if that really help well it would help if I, yeah i just don't know if i can catch one when there's another one active so let's get the level nine out of here and then hopefully we can oh he's level 11 already sweet there we go and almost got up to the uh potential level increase let's see what a a fight here does hopefully the slam doesn't completely kill it perfect that is exactly where i want it we're going to switch this guy out it was hurt by its poison and we want to use a suspender on it so that will get me the swarmy that is great uh, we'll have to go and uh, level up the Swarmy a little bit, probably. Maybe we'll go into a trainer and see. Um, I do want to check its summary because I would like to see if it has an ability. Analytic. When the Corm attacks last, it can analyze the opponent and attack with a double critical chance. That's a pretty cool... Uh, um ability there wakened up to some of his potential this is now different we have oh we can increase the sp now too that's amazing i really like that so that we can have him attack more now uh i really like the ability to increase that that's really cool uh, i think though we're gonna go special attack HP and then defense is what we're going to do here. We got a level swarmy. We got to go back really quickly and heal this guy up. And I'm not sure where we want to or if we want to level him up. That is going to be the issue. I think. Was there a. There was. I don't have any fruits to plant. Huh, wonder if we can plant some there. That's quite interesting. I really, really like the uh, um, the game for... I was going somewhere with that thought and I just lost it. I don't know. Okay, so we're all healed. We're going to switch out. Oh, when it, when it tells you um, that there's something there is kind of cool. And I like that really that the, what I was gonna say is the developers are updating the demo, which is really cool. 
I like that they're doing that. So let's go down here real quick and see if we can maybe get a couple fights on my swarming and maybe do something and then go out and fight a um, a trainer. I have a silk well. I don't really want another silk well. Um, this is actually going to be probably a pretty good fight here. Is that going to be very effective? No. All right, they're, they're so close in level that it's going to be a very damaging fight to me, but I should be able to win one and for two, um, it'll give me probably a lot of experience for that level, yeah. But then the difficult thing is he really doesn't get a chance to um the downside of that is that he can't fight a bunch of times um the best thing when you're trying to level up in the core mon is to fight some um fairly lower level than you are so that you can fight two or three times um i'm gonna actually go out here real quick and try one of these trainers and see if i can pop him up a little bit if you get a good experience on a trainer, uh, you can pop up, but the problem is depending on their Cormon level, um, the level of their Cormon, you may not be able to fight very much, uh, or you'll have to be switching out to two or three different, um, you know, two or three different Cormon, and then your, your, um, uh, your experience gets uh, divided between all those and that's not really what you want so let's see what this silk will can do uh, against a seven is not going to be good but the good thing is he'll only get experience for this first one um, he won't get any more experience for um, like the later one. So if I have to switch out later, um, then it's not that big of a deal because, you know, the, the experience of the, um, so for the swarmy, it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and use a claw attack. Probably should have used fight strike, fast strike because I knew he probably would, but that's all right. We got it. He went down to seven. So what is that going to 67? So that should put Silk will up to level 11 and then maybe swarm me up to level seven. That's exactly what I was hoping for. That's awesome. Sending out an Armado, what level? We'll probably switch out ours as well, which will give him a hit on me, but that's all right. I think that the, uh, the uh, Cub Zero should be able to handle him fairly easy. I have frozen him a couple of times uh, before with this ice chomp. So hopefully we'll be able to ice chomp him um, fr uh, frozen again or freeze him with the ice chomp again. That's what I really like um, when I go in the attacks. I really like the um, the specialty abilities, the moves and the uh, different chances the different effects that those different moves like poison fire frozen those different things are really cool so cool aid uh, got a little bit too we defeated nico and we got a little bit of money for winning however we're still pretty kind of hurt here so we're going to actually run back i know there's another trainer just back past him so Let's get the trainers and then we'll go from there. Uh, I usually ask a question at the end, but let's throw it in the middle. What Coromon perfects have you been able to find in your runs? I'm curious as to what, I'm sure that they're all available uh, in Insane Difficulty, but I'm curious if the, it's only, um, the perfects are only available in Insane. So if you've played Insane, what perfects have you found or have you found a perfect outside of insane difficulty that's another 
interesting thing that I would like to see as well. Let's get back in here and go for that other one. We'll get these two trainers out of the way and then I think we probably should work on leveling up our um, swarmy. Get through that little brush and then right there, that's your other trainer. <laughs> they bug me out. Let's take on a Jody. She's sending out a swarmy, okay? Swarmy versus swarmy. But I bet it's a higher level swarmy. Oh no, let's go with it. Let's go with a, a slam to slam swarmy. Oh, he used rage, which is kind of good, but rage increases the attack. So he'll probably do more damage next time. Yes, he hit me pretty hard there. Um, that should get him down to like five. He hits me again. Uh, it's getting close. I just hope, oh no. I shoot. That's my first one. I was doing so good and I got greedy again. I did, I did done get greedy and tried to go for it and I should have healed him right before I hit the attack. I thought I need to heal him. Um, so, wow, well, we just lost out basically. I don't think that I can get another one. I'm just out as far as I understand in the uh, knuck lock rules. But we can try to see if it that hit three times. That was devastating. That makes me so, uh, I just, I was handling it so well and just got a little too greedy there. Let's see, let's test this out. Once we get out of this fight, what we are going to do is we are going to end up awakened to some of his potential. That means I'm going to do speed and I think it was speed and just attack, like a fast hitting, hard hitting kind of uh, Cormon is what I'm looking for there. What I get? Uh, I got 173 for winning. Really, really disappointed there. Um, switch him with there. I, they have also increased this. So now they've added the nickname and now from this menu, I could also give item. So these little touch-ups to the demo are very, very nice. Let's see if I can use the whistle again. You can only use it once per area. So what I have to hope for now is to find a perfect somewhere is really what we're going to have to because you could always catch a perfect. So hopefully I'll be able to catch a perfect at some point along this run so that we can well stay in the game basically that's I lost one there's only the part radiant park Hayville Woodland town or this woodland forest Woodlow forest the cave and the tower and the tower doesn't even have any uh random pokemon in it so you can't catch it so there's only four areas that you can catch Coromon in now if the whistle is a little bit different now it might allow me to catch a Coromon in the tower i don't know uh, but just going off of this and what i'm you know past experience it doesn't seem like that that would be the case. So I'm down to three Cormon through this whole thing because I lost one unless I find perfects somewhere. I missed. That's not good. That's starting off really bad right there. So yeah, I, yeah, so I had four, I lost one, so we're down to three and hopefully we'll be able to find a couple perfects to help us come back up. Cause it's gonna be really hard to fight the tower uh, with only three Coromon. 
And what we might have to do is just uh, level until we do. It might just be something that we have to go search and find. Stinky spray, that's good. I really need to also, there's something else. Actually, what I'm gonna do is throw in a SP cake. How hurt is he? Not very. I'm gonna go ahead and throw him an SP cake. Perfect, and I still got a lot of water to walk through here. Um, trying to think. Yeah, that's really all I am at right now is is hoping to find a perfect another slither i really i would like to have a slither pen i hate fighting against the two um core mod that i i hate fighting against the most is the oddity which has the voodoo and the slither pen which um has the um uh, drain, I think is what it's called. I think, yeah, I think that's what it's called. I don't think that's going to move him up to 12, but I will probably switch him out regardless uh, because he's now poisoned. I don't think I have any of the cakes needed to... Yeah, I don't have any of the, the foods to... Um give him what he needs to switch out or to um get that poison out of him come on we've got to find a perfect somewhere i really would like to end this with finding a perfect a perfect mawful would be amazing i would love to find a perfect mawful that would be a mawful is probably i don't know well, I wouldn't say my favorite Slitherpin might be the favorite one I've played, but against the first area, Mawful is amazing. Sand is very effective against ice types. Oh no, electric types. Sand types are effective against electric types. So, um, he's good against the Titan at the end here. So, um, I would, yeah, I'd love to have a a mawful here but it does not look like we're gonna get a perfect very easily i'm gonna have to say that the perfects are probably very far and few between and we're gonna have to be super lucky to get one and unfortunately i'm uh, how close is he? He's hurt a little bit. I just really want a... Can I go just like back and forth right there so I can be right on the edge of the grass? Oh! Two silk quills. That's not good. I think we can manage their level sixes. So we should be pretty easy. But that double hit. Oh! It started out with a miss. That's not good. And then a pocket of sand is going to make me miss more often. Oh, wait, let's see if we can do it. And we're running low on uh, SP. That's not going to be good. Fast strike. Oh, gosh. How much will that do there? Hopefully knock him out. No. I cannot lose my cub zero. I straight up cannot lose my cub as zero. So health cake to the rescue not just not going to do it i'll i'll feed him 100 hp cakes uh i don't want him to lose that pocket sand there yeah, th that's a good um combo right there too if one of them can attack and then one of them throws the pocket uh sand it just makes it uh really hard for me to do damage and they're hitting me with damage so the the downside of throwing the pocket sand that the you the downside to that is you lose the attack but when there's double then it's you know oh so close so close okay let's go ahead and knock him out oh he used fast strike that fast strike is killer 
Um, nope, not gonna, just not gonna risk it. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save that Cub Zero, no matter what I do, no matter what the cost. This will be the only um, starter that I did not lose. Okay, another nice little scratch on his face, and critical hit, critical hit to knock one HP off. Man. That's brutal. Padawan was cured from his poison. <laughs> well, he, he sat in that battle long enough. Okay, yeah, Padawan, we want to switch him up so he can get up to his level. Okay, let's uh, head back and get healed and maybe take on another um, trainer guy thingy person. No, shoot, I forgot all about this guy. Uh, I missed it <laughs> when I was recording the last episode. I completely forgot about Doing this so we have to finish this Sequence he's still waiting. <laughs> he's still waiting for his package There we go. We got his package. Noah got his package back, which is awesome. We might actually jump back to the uh, city because that has a a um, a shop I can buy things. I don't ha think Hayville has a shop. Well, let's go test it out then. I mean, like, yes, I have. So you to travel to another teleport that got a signature with why don't you try it out yeah i'll be your first i mean like i totally trust you that you've done this correctly and not it's gonna split me in half or something you know <laughs> but that's all good i'm i i, I have full trust in you noah there we go and actually why i'm here let's just run back into the hospital i could have done this at the other place but oh well here we go. Trainer hub, take care. Yes, I would like you to take care of my core mon. I could probably also just run back through because a perfect is a perfect. Um, so if I find a level one perfect as I go throughout, I would take it. I really would. Uh, the nice thing about perfects is their potential rises quicker. So therefore it's really nice get a little bit of extra whatever um, in there for you. So let's sell this Phoenix shard because it does me no good. And what do I want to buy? Go buy, buy. I want to buy items. Let's see what you got. Um, ice, freeze, poison, shock. Um, Let's get me a a few hp cakes and a few sp cakes um i know the shop in the next oh yeah yeah let's go ahead and use that coupon definitely 450 yeah give me 450 back yes i would love that <laughs> shine bright oh okay. So that, that coupon allowed me to get another HP, actually. Another HP cake, which is good. Very useful. Uh, so we're going to just run through here. Probably not. You know what? We're going to dip and see. I'm going to jump in these uh, first two. We're not going to do a lot here. But I do want to just jump in here and maybe wait. I have not used it technically in this area. So I'm curious to see if... Ah, uh, it works, so I'm gonna steal two out of this one. Not a normal thing that you could do, I don't think, but nonetheless, it worked. I kind of cheated there, I do that. that. That is full on understandable um, cheesing the game, but um, just because of how they worked out, we're going to throw the trick spinner and hopefully it catches this Mino because I would like to have a Mino. So that will be four there. 
and I did not also use it um where else did I not use it I didn't use it technically in um motivate uh, defeating opponent core guns above and raises attack and special attack that's pretty cool so now we have amino awesome and my pattern is level 12 this is getting better and better i'm going to cheese this so going to cheese this this is not how it's going to work in the real in the regular game i understand that but i had to do that and technically i've never used the lux lore in the hayville either oh we got to go through all that stuff yeah let's run and see if we can get through to hayville i forgot all about that we'll get a few battles in here but yeah i so cheese that okay i'm fully aware of that but yeah so the idea is when the the way it was supposed to work is like when you're in the grass the first one that you came to you had to catch or you lost it um uh you wouldn't if you did not catch that first um Kormon in the grass you couldn't catch one for that area and and I when I went through these first few areas I was I did that but now since they switched it up to make it the lore instead or the yeah the Lux lore instead then I was technically did not use the Lux lore in the first two areas so therefore I can use the Lux lore here and Hayville and get me one so that gives me two extra um oh two extra um, what's the word i want to do catch possibilities and i know that's not really fair but eh, i'll use it i've had a very very hard time with hard difficulty and uh it looked like insane was going to be just right up the same alley so yeah let's cheese it a little bit yeah let's just knock him straight out i would be very appreciative of that mino earned a 31 so what we're going to do is try to get to hayville i probably should have just ran back and used the um you know i could always just throw a bunch of healing down on this mino as well but um we could actually use it a little bit to get some of these here but uh yeah we're gonna do that in hayville and that will give us a little bit of extras um and then you know i always have the chance to get a perfect in here as well so that's always uh bit of beneficial it missed no cute pose lowers my defense i believe decreased yep come on hit him hit him hard with your little propeller bunch here we go knock him straight out yeah okay level six awesome yeah i figured yeah mino is gonna go up pretty quickly even with those partial battles so let's see if we can i kind of want to go through here but i also kind of don't i just want to uh really kind of get back up there because i wanted that extra Cormon in hayville <laughs> this is the only time you'll be able ever able to do this um you know what i'm going to use an hp cake here on him i know it's a little bit of a waste but this level two swarmy should be able to be taken care of with my mino um even if it uses a slam or two on me i figure that he should be able to i'd only hit one time which is not good but it did a lot of damage there come on hit a couple times yeah there we go that's a good one i think he has a fire oh he's the one that has the horn fire attack that's really nice does a lot of damage let's get it here we go and that should get me into hey oh, i forgot all about this let's see what's down in here 
Now that we have that push attack. We got toxic scent. I'm not sure I know what a toxic scent is or a charged scent. Those must be new items. Let's go check them out. Um, are they, where are they? Um, oh, here, so Stinky said I know protein attracts Cormon with a higher level for three minutes. Interesting, Toxic has a chance to apply poison on Wild Cormon. Interesting, and then that's kind of interesting. Um, little mechanic thing there. Let's get into Hayville. Finish this up by grabbing us one more free Cormon. Um, we want to use, you know what? I should probably see. Yeah, I got two strong ones and I still got definitely a a um another swarmy okay that's fine I guess that's what I gotta take I mean I'm kind of cheating it anyways um let's hit him and then hopefully I can trap him don't hit too much don't hit three. Oh, that's it oh well that's yeah, I'll take that because you know, I kind of cheated anyways. So, okay So we've used the Lux, uh, Lux lore in all the areas now that I've been in um, So yeah, we've got four Cormon, so we're able to get up One extra one We should have Yeah, no my starter I'm thinking so we had the starter Oh, yeah, because there's four areas in your starter, so you would go through with five. Oh, I don't want... No, I accidentally did that. No, 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 no. But I had... I had four at the beginning. I should have. So I got one in my starter cup zero, and then you had... Um, Radiant Park. Hayville. Yeah, and then the Woodlow Forest. That was four. And then I lost one as three, and then I cheesed to get Mino. So, okay, I, I'll go with that. That's that is all the places. So yeah, Radiant Park. Radiant Park is the one right here. Is this Radiant Park? And then, yeah, I guess so. And and then Woodlow Forest is next. Okay. Well, I think that's where we're going to end it for the episode today. Next episode, we'll probably try to level up Mino a little bit and do maybe a little bit more in the Woodlow Forest. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.